I never thought that I would see in my lifetime a repeat of the horrific scenes that we saw and that we've read about during the course of uh, the Second World War repeated in our lifetimes, but to see people of Jewish faith cowering in their homes, being dragged from cupboards out into the street, when children are still abducted and still held hostage, this Prime Minister needs to stand up and to be united with the Jewish community. And he's not. The words have been qualified, the message divided, and the Australian public has looked to the Prime Minister and not identified this man compared to the man that they voted for in May of 22, less than 18 months ago. Well, when people look for a definition of overreach, they will search for this motion. Yeah. Let's move by the Leader of the Opposition. There is no issue too Order. big for Members him to show left. how Member small Patekin he is. Will cease rejecting. And the weaponisation or attempt to weaponise anti-Semitism in this chamber and make it a partisan issue is frankly beyond contempt. Frankly beyond contempt. I spoke in this chamber on Monday about the events in Caulfield and about the events in the eastern suburbs of Sydney. There was no qualification, no qualification whatsoever in my condemnation. These are, Order. these are. This is the same political party the member for Fairfax. that tried to repeal Section 18C of the Racial Discrimination Act, and I stood with Peter Wertheim and other members of the Jewish community at that time. I make Order. no apologies for standing up against anti-Semitism, and I will do it unequivocally, as I have as someone who led a campaign against a council in my own electorate, against the BDS campaign, De more, I think two decades ago. I have a track record on this, and I'm proud of it. But I also have a track record of standing up Order. for the rights and for justice of Palestinian people. Yeah. And I make no apologies for being a consistent supporter of a two-state solution. Yeah. And I make no apologies for trying to bring communities together, not divide them, because that's the role of political leaders. And at a time, at a time Order. when there is, Order. there is social division, leaders have a choice. They have a choice to either bring people together or divide them. To either look for unity or look for opportunism. Order. And what we have seen Order. from this the bloke member for here is Fairfax consistent the member for with Groom. his entire political the member career Barker. has been based upon division between the member people. For Groom will cease rejecting.